This is a twin, a twin size bed frame that is going into the Toyota Land Cruiser with a foam mattress on top for my husband and I to sleep on. He's going to cut the legs to fit over the back seats. He took the third row seats out. Using these tools to wedge the plastic off. And he unbolted the seats and took them out. Just so, just to make sure it makes sense. This leg needs to be a total of 19 and a quarter inches. That's going to sit in that like that on the back. Love to get a better size, but you know what? That's going to have to do. And we'll, uh, we'll work this out. As a matter of fact, hey, that's interesting. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. and we'll sink a screw in that or put a little glue on it, a piece of tape. We've got a nice solid leg for that thing to sit on. Thirteen inches. On a 20, this is on a 22 degree angle? 22 and a half degree angle. From there, it's 14. It's 13. It's a quarter. Yeah, it's 14 and a quarter. It's 14 and a quarter to the short point, 22 and a half degree angle. And then we'll take this. You bring that hammer? Yeah. I don't need it. Here. Okay. This came with it? Yeah, well, this is the piece I cut off. It had a foot on it, so I just reused it. Nice. Beat up, so I put some uh, bumper rail up and I cut a piece of PVC that was the right height and I wrapped it with bumper rail so that it wouldn't hit the seat of the car. And so now, and I put a two inch square, this is a two inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe with a two inch furniture leg protector on the bottom of it. I bought them for like eight bucks for like 40 of them. And so I put that on each of those and I put it on the back ones as well. But as you can see, it's pretty solid. Now the two inch pipe didn't fit as well as I would have liked it to. It was kind of rattly. So I went into the top right here. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. And the top edge of that, and you look down and you're gonna see this black sort of oblong pipe. That is a piece of drip irrigation pipe that worked out to be just about perfect. I had to smush it a little bit and then drive it down in there next to this leg. And it's it's just tight as it can be. And that keeps it from rattling around while you're driving down the road. We literally did not know that we had a bed in the back of our car and coolers packed on top of it as we were driving down the highway. Hitting bumps and speed bumps, nothing moves. This is fantastic. We're going to drop some of these guys in and they just pop in. It's not a problem. I have a full-size mattress for this because, well, the twin's a little tight for two people. That's 
that's what you got. Now, what this is going to do, you ready? Yeah. Go to Target, and you want to get some storage boxes. You want to get something that's in the 13 inch variety. Something no taller than 13. Look at all this storage space underneath here. So if you don't want your uh, car to slosh around, if you slam on the brakes or do something stupid, then you put that in. And so here we are with our corners. And then I read the instructions, but then I wouldn't get to redo it. So the full-size mattress fits great in the back of the Land Cruiser with this twin-size heavy-duty bed that took no time to put together and really no time to modify and cut down. It's really light and it's really easy to take out. The entire setup you see here costs less than $200. And you note, it still leaves room for the drink holders. And if you'll note, the lights, which are the courtesy lights inside, kind of line up perfectly if you're laying back and reading. So we'll probably change those out to some LED bright light bulbs that don't use a lot of electricity. Stay tuned for the power modification coming soon to a theater near you. But for the time being, some LED lights, they don't draw much, won't kill the battery overnight. And then crap, we'll probably be asleep anyway. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Stay tuned. <laughs>